We cannot really be racist because racism is prejudice plus power. Nothing I say up here nor anywhere in the world will impact stop fronting, will impact on any white folks in this audience on your job, in politics, in economics, in housing, in the society. We don't have the power to do that, so we cannot be racist. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to let people keep telling you that black people can be racist. You cannot be racist. The word does not exist for you. Racism means group-based. Racism means a power relationship. A power relationship between two groups where one group owns and controls so much that they can use their wealth and their power to deprive and hurt and injure another group. That's what racism is. And no place can you find a black person on earth that could be a racist. Only thing you can get at best is a black reactionary. That means a black person who's reacting to white racism. If black folk had been racist, they'd have been racist 400 years ago. They would have stopped people from depriving and hurting and castrating and lynching and exploiting them 400 years ago. That's why if you go back through history, you cannot find one single solitary instance any place in history on this earth where black folk have had enough power and wealth to come together to do injury to another group and take something from them. In the United States, you've never seen any blacks come together as an organization, as a group, to hurt any other group. Blacks have never done anything to Jews or to whites or anybody else, Asians or Hispanics, as a group. We can't practice racism. We don't even have a community to practice racism. But on the other hand, I can go through history books and I can show you mountains, thousands, maybe millions of instances where everybody else have done things mean to us, to deprive and hurt us by social customs, by le extra legal and legal means, by laws to do in black folk. You can't be a racist unless you got power and wealth for your group to be able to hurt other people and take and do them in, and we don't have it. So all we are are reactions to white racism. But we must look at the fact that we don't teach hatred. Everywhere we go as black people, we face hatred. Look at it. Look at it. Angel food cake white people say is white. Devil's food cake, you say, is black. You wear white to weddings and black to funerals. Black ball, black male. You give us a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, pale-skinned, buttermilk complexion Jesus in contradiction to the black Jesus in the Bible. Our own babies, according to behavioral, sci behavioral scientists, our baby girls, when confronted when choosing but with choosing between a black doll and a white doll, there has been so much damage done. They choose the white doll and say the black doll is ugly. So racism is everywhere and it's institutionalized. The whole problem goes back to 1619. In 1619, there was no such thing. Y'all be clear on this. There was no such thing basically as racism. Racism didn't exist before black slavery started. You had conflicts between ethnic groups, you had conflicts between uh, religious groups, Those were, and you had cultural disagreements. But you never had racism until, until black enslavement started. Racism is a word that means race, it means group. 